Lance, there's a lot of factors that go into a win like this. Uh, certainly, quality of opponent plays into things. And but how do you how do you evaluate uh, what you accomplished on the field tonight? Yeah, you, well, I'm very pleased on, on a lot of the things that happened tonight. Uh, you know, our our ability to create explosive plays. Um, you know, short drives and scoring. Um, even when things weren't good and we turned the ball over or something happened, I thought our defense responded really well. I think one. After one turnover, I think we hold them to a field goal. The other one, they, they miss a field goal. So some of those things there. Played a lot of guys, and a lot of guys in the first half. And you can see, as we've talked in here many times about, um, you know, the, the depth and competition at positions. And I think you can see when we're rolling those guys in on both sides of the ball that there's not a drop off, and, and, and that's encouraging. Um, yeah, you know, you. You know, your play was on the schedule, and, and you go from there and, and you evaluate it. But um, if it's a game we should win by by this margin, then then I think we 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 went out and have done that. And we well know that this program hasn't had enough wins to be, um, you know, overly uh, critical of, of of how it plays out in those things. And um, but we'll, we'll continue to look at uh, everything that we've done and and, and how we've executed and. Um, you know, there's uh, you know, some things in ball security. Our, our panel, most of our penalties, I think, were really late. So, you know, you look at kind of, you know, reps and who's been in the game. So, but I'm overall I'm very pleased, with, you know, tonight. Generally, the approach with the running backs looked like it was generally a series here, a series there. What did you see from those guys? Um, and yeah, it's guys? kind of series, but some by plays and, and personnel groupings and, and different things like that. Um, you know, and I think this game kind of led itself for us to, to take a look at that and, and how we're going to do it and who can – who plays well in that type of rotation versus maybe who's got to be a – you know, a, a longer feel. But uh, I thought everyone showed flashes of doing some things and uh, – you know, again, uh, I didn't look at total. What is it? Rushing yards? Almost, did we have almost 300? So, um, you, you know, I thought overall a, a good day. You mentioned flashing right there with the front seven in particular. I guess how do you evaluate the way that they played, particularly kind of in the first half? You know, I thought they played really well. I thought we played the run better. I thought overall as a defense, we played faster and downhill a lot better than we have in the past. Um, you know. Uh, you know, interior-wise, it's hard to tell. Jim's rotating so many guys about who's in there during times. But uh, again, like we had hoped, uh, you know, Lonnie Phelps shows up. You know, and uh, um, you know we're going to need that from him. I thought Caleb Sampson and others, uh, you know, showed themselves. You know, being physical at the point of attack, and 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 as well as, uh, you know, I thought we had some good play from our linebackers. You mentioned Lonnie there, I guess. For him in particular, you know, getting to see him in a game for the first time, what were some things that stood out to you about him? Well, the same stuff I see in practice. You know, he's quick off the ball. He's, you know, he's got a relentless motor and things that you need to keep playing and make things happen. And, but, uh, you know, he's gonna, you know, I'm, I'm sure now that he's put it on a game film, it's, you know, it's gonna continue to be challenging. But he, he, he loves to play. He plays hard. He's coachable. He's everything, and he's excitable, and he's a great addition to this football team. Just your, your opinion on him, I think 15 yeah. of 18. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it was 15 for 16 and a half or something like that. Was that right, guys? I don't, I don't, 14, 15, sorry. But, I mean, that's pretty good half of football. And, unfortunately, the one was on fourth down. But, uh, you know, I thought he played well, made made solid decisions. There's a couple of plays there in the second half. I think he got a little greedy. Um, but, uh, you know, I thought he had good command. I, You know, and part of the things I look at, too, is, you know, when we're, we're going through things and, you know, how the coaches are, you know, getting – Getting the plays called, getting them out, getting them in the huddle. You know, we weren't weren't in panic and things like that to get things done. I th I thought he he did a fine job. And then with down two wide receivers, how did you see the rest of the group step up in this situation? I, you know, I thought they played what I. I don't know if this is final. We had five, you know Lawrence. I thought you know really showed. Was probably, I don't know he had what three catches in one drive or something maybe. And I thought Luke was you know Luke's going to be steady and you know got the ball Steven a little bit. Kevin Terry had a nice catch. I and then of course I you know we talked about uh, you know Quentin Skinner showed showed his abilities to get behind people. So um, yeah, I thought that group was 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 very solid tonight as well. With with Jalen on that two minute drive just before half. Mm -hmm. uh, is is that the kind of maturity and, and just growth you you've talked about all camp with him? I mean, 
It looked yeah. like he wanted to be out there in that moment and making those yeah, types of Yeah, you know, plays. we talked about You saw the clock, and you kind of know, okay, if we can get him. We only got one timeout left, so we might have to burn it. And, you know, all those things were being talked about. And, and again, I, I think just the, the time with our guys, whether it be the walkthroughs in camp and – um, some things that we've done to, to continue to work on those. I think he is more comfortable in the situation. He's more comfortable on the field. All the things uh, that, that you could kind of see and, um, you know, some that you really want to see, uh, you know, transpire in a game like this as well. You get a chance to work on it. Also, the, the, the first play when he – well, not first, but the first big play when he hit Quentin down mm -hmm. the field. Take us through that one and just what you're looking for. From yeah, him. you know, well, you know, he had, you know, we're run naked. He had had a chance to to make the play over the top. I, you know, I think Andy called it that. You know, he could see it from up top. They might have a chance to hit that one, and you know, and I think they, you know they had talked about it early. If we get a chance to go take one deep, you know, we would, and you know, it's good to see because you know, again, most a lot of things we've just talked about all about also is gaining confidence. And, and this team just hasn't had a lot of it, but you know we had it down the stretch last year, and, it, and it's great to see them kind of take it and, 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 and go with it again tonight. Do, do you think you know, last year's win in the opener was come from behind, close game? Do, do you think this win with the, the statement that it may make when people look at the score, does that indicate to people that you know the progress that has been made, or is it too early to talk like that? Yeah, it might be. I mean. That's more for, I guess, some of you to, to write about and analyze more. I, I think we're looking at how we're getting better, um, you know, because then I'm getting into comparison South Dakota versus Tennessee Tech, and you get a lot of things there. But obviously a come-from-behind close game against an FCS school versus jumping out to a commanding lead and, and it kind of going with it is definitely a step in the right direction. And uh, um, But uh, as I told the team, you know, it's, it's going to change here quickly and uh, – after tomorrow, we turn our attentions to uh, to West Virginia in a conference game pretty quickly. Just one more. Um, I, I, I want to ask you about the fourth down call, uh, the incomplete pass, obviously. D the way your f defense was playing, did that factor into how you decided to go for that? Would you have gone for that um, no matter what? Well, the score and, and lo you know, and location, you know, you, you get all this data these days about it. And, um, you know, we were going to go for it. It, you know, we lost a yard on the on the play before, and you know, Savion probably could have you know pushed the pile a little bit. We talked to him about that, and um, but um, but yeah, I, I think at that time, and and you know, it's you're playing pretty good defense, but for anybody, I think driving the ball 98 yards is you know is it can be difficult. So you got to put put some confidence on them, and and uh, you know, I wouldn't change it. You mentioned wanting to get better. What would you want Jalen to focus on this week? Oh, that's and that's a little early for me to probably say. I, I mean, obviously, a little bit on ball security late in the game, but you know that that could be being comfortable with the score and and it may be taken. Um, but um, you know, all in all, I thought he you know handled things pretty well and um, you know let our football team. Saw Kenny go down a little bit. Is there any? Yeah, cramp. Sort of it was a cramp, yeah. All right. Thanks, Coach. Anything else? All right. Jeez. Okay. Have a great weekend, everyone.